Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, another video for you. This time it's a subject that's very, very interesting and a lot of people seem to think that this, this job of cabin crew of a flight attendant, especially in the Middle East, it's all about the glamour and it's all about the, the beauty of the traveling and uh, you, you, you live in a luxurious place and everything is fancy and everything is amazing. You just lay on the beach the whole day and you work every now and then, right? You fly all these beautiful destinations and tra-la-la. That partially is true, even entirely. It is true, right? We have a beautiful job, we're traveling all around the world, we're making new friends every time. All these beautiful destinations, luxurious, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 true. But those people are forgetting something. We work for it, right? And I believe that always in order to receive, you have to give, right? You have to give. On board, we have different responsibilities as cabin crews. We have different responsibilities. The most important responsibility ever, ever is safety. The safety of the passengers, the safety of our guests, right? Is our number one priority. Absolutely, it will never change. It will always be like this. And then of course you have the comfort part. We must make sure our customers that are flying with us, they're, uh, they're treated well and they're feeling comfortable. They feel like at home. Whenever I'm about to fly, whenever I go for work, right? I, I go in that plane and I consider myself the host, right? I'm going inside the house, that's my house. And I consider myself the host. Um, I have friends coming over, right? The passengers. I have friends coming over and I have to be a good host for them. They are my guests. So I must make sure, you know, my guests are happy. That's where the service part comes in. That's where we must activate our inner hospitality. Along with the food and drinks, there are other responsibilities that each one of us as cabin crews, we must, uh, we must do on board, right? while flying. And one of them, of course, is the maintenance of the cabin. Uh, trash shouldn't be down on the aisles. The cabin should be tidy at all times. And of course, the galleys and the lavatories should always be clean. Checking the toilets, right? Checking the lavatories is a big part of our job. When I go to check the lavatory, I do my safety checks. That means check everything, the containers, everything for security threats and so on and so forth. I must visually check that lavatory, a smoke detector as well and so on and so forth. So there are some security checks that I must do. But afterwards, I have to do the service part, cleaning that lavatory. Would I like to go into somebody's home and find a mess, especially in their toilet? Absolutely not. So I try to do the same for my guests. I clean the lavatory, I clean the toilet seat, I clean the bowl, I clean on the ground. I use gloves, I use towels and sanitizers and we have a special spray, aircraft friendly, that can clean everything. So uh, that makes our job easier, of course. But uh, yeah, we have to do it. We do clean the toilets on board. Shocker! <laughs> Who would have thought? I heard there might be some airlines that actually employ people, specially employ people as additional cabin crews. They're not cabin crews responsible for anything else but the toilets. But I heard this, but I don't know if it's true or not. I have never checked this fact, so it's just... Uh, it's not our case. We do the job. We do clean the toilets. Now, will the toilets be clean all the times? because many of you, you've flown into those airplanes and you went to the toilet once and it, it, it was bad, it was miserable, it was uh, napkins all on the floor, it was a wet floor and it was disgusting, right? That might happen for quite a lot of reasons. Uh, often cabin crews are busy with a lot of things and it's really hard to, to prioritize. Let's say I have a medical emergency, I'll prioritize that instead of cleaning the toilet, obviously. Even for service, we do our visual security checks and then we continue our service, you know, carts, meals, drinks. And uh, while you're doing that, you cannot really check the toilet. That's why I would recommend for most people, if you see the, your cabin crews uh, on the aisle with the food, don't go to the toilet. It might be a better time after the meals is, is served or during the cruise time. Now, quite a weird video and topic for you guys. I hope I answered a few of your questions. I definitely get bored during this uh, lockdown situation and, and I hope those videos are entertaining for you. <laughs> 
Now, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, uh, you can press the subscribe button at any time. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'll post the Instagram link down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It will help the ad algorithm work itself out. Um, now, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'm Alex. It has been a pleasure. Take care. Thank you.